So, do you think it is possible to clean a whole five-bedroom house in only one hour? Now, before you go saying I've been sniffing too much baking soda, here's what I mean, okay? In the Play Lady system, this is what we call the weekly home blessing, where you take one hour, ten minutes for every task, and your house is good and done in a whole hour, all right? That makes sense? Yes, that makes sense. You do six tasks, okay? Now, normally what she says is you will... Clean your window, I mean, wipe your windows and glasses for 10 minutes. Empty dustbin, not glasses, mirrors, you know. <laughs> and then empty dustbins, change bed sheets and all that jazz. Each task taking you 10 minutes and by the end of 10 minutes you are done. Okay, including vacuuming for 10 minutes. But let me tell you how I'm going to do it. So this is me uh, remixing the whole thing. And I think for me it's better to do... Take 10 minutes and clean each room, okay? And then, so I don't have to keep going from room to room to room. Or oh, I'm picking dustbins from all the rooms. Then I'm wiping mirrors from the rooms. So I'm going from room to room. I just feel like it's going to work better for me this way. So it only works if you have already done your morning routine, which means I've woken up, I've showered, I've done my workout, okay, preferably before showering. I've dressed to shoes. Um, I've figured out what's for dinner. I've done switch and swipe. Beds are made. Load of laundry is in the washer. So that is out of the way already. So if I've already done all that, then what in the world am I going to be doing for a whole hour? Now, here is where the, uh, the, the happiness and the juice comes in. Okay. As much as I've made my bed and all that jazz, I haven't dusted in my room. I haven't mopped the floor. I haven't done all that. And I believe I can get this done. In 10 minutes because the room is already looking hmm, pretty okay but i need to do some dusting i need to vacuum the carpets and all that jazz so here is my challenge so the whole idea of the weekly home blessing is these are tasks that you only do once a week we're not doing a deep clean you guys we're just sort of like um doing a maintenance so for me it's going to involve a lot of dusting mopping of the floor you know those, those rooms that we don't mop every day today i can't talk i keep blah, blah, blah. but anyway i hope you're understanding what i'm saying so those tasks that you only do once a week so i'm going to do a lot of dusting vacuuming mopping of some floors straightening up of some areas and you guys i am so determined when 10 minutes i'm done i stop let's do this i'm so happy that you're here you guys i hope this will be something that you can utilize in your home and let me know if i'm crazy or if it actually makes sense to you so as i said i'm starting with our room it's not looking bad i mean i've already made my bed again my morning routine is done and that's it i've made my bed uh and i've switched and swiped the toilet in our room but you guys let me show you okay can you see these are all surfaces that need dusting i don't know what all this junk is i need to remove it do a bit of dusting and organizing uh mop the floor and also vacuum this carpet and we're good to go i've already brought in my water so i'm ready to rumble when it comes to the bathroom again as i said i've already done the switch and swipe so it's looking okay i hope the lighting is okay I'm being impatient. I'm not waiting for the lights to be set up. But it's looking okay. It's clean. It smells fantastic. Which is what I love about doing the switch and swipe every day. Only takes me two minutes. But now, let me attend to the rest of the room. So, I'm ready with my dusting cloth. I'm already feeling a bit intimidated by this task. But let's see how it goes. And then I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes. Wish me luck. In the Fly Lady system, as I said, this is called the Weekly Home Blessing. And I absolutely love that name because I've always felt like doing housework and, and homemaking is such a blessing to my family. It's a way for me to be a blessing to my family. So I love that name.
I feel like I've been working out for 10 minutes, but I'm telling you, the running around. But I managed. Imagine I managed to mop my floor, vacuum my carpet, and dust my surfaces in my room, and shine my mirrors in 10 minutes. I sweated a lot, but yeah, I had hoped to have like two minutes left to clean the balcony. But you know what? Again, as we say it in the house to a video, let's just pretend it's not there. Let's move on to the next room, guys. So next is the kids room not a lot of dusting to be done here and i've already done the switch and swipe in their bathroom so it's just maybe straightening out their beds a bit and then also shining the one cabinet that is there and i'm hoping that if i finish with the kids room uh in good time then i will be able to deal with my landing over here because it's looking a mess and yeah i mean it's just <laughs> let's see how this goes this is so exciting guys so here is the way the room looks like i've already done laundry so the laundry basket is empty uh beds have already been made actually the kids did a good job the only thing i need to do is maybe straighten them if i even have to um get some new clean pajamas for them and also change their towels and that's about it wipe their beds and mop the floor i mean what could possibly go wrong? This should take me like two minutes, right? <laughs> Let's see. For us working moms, I love the idea of doing a speed cleaning of our house in one hour or less if you can because sometimes that's all you have guys like it's on a saturday it's your day off you don't spend the whole day cleaning and it only works as i said if you have been doing the daily maintenance like you've been doing your morning routine so you're doing a switch and swipe your laundry is on point and the rest of the stuff it is taken care of so it's so nice to do just one speed clean one hour and you enjoy the rest of your day off like a boss Ten minutes are done. I managed to finish the kids' room and to start on the landing and actually clear most of it off. Very proud of myself. I need a drink of water. At some point, I thought the time I had gone off because I was like, "How come ten minutes are not getting finished?" So let me show you where I've reached. See? Look at this. I actually managed to do quite a bit here. Uh, let me just dust it guys. You can give me a bonus of 30 seconds. I dust it. I'm not so worried about mopping here because our help is normally pretty chop chop with that. But, ah, uh, let me just wipe here guys. Give me 10, 10 seconds and then we go on to the classroom. So 
So now we are on to the classroom. You guys remember that this classroom was looking fantabulous. Literally two days ago. Okay, maybe not two days. Well, here we are. Okay. So, yeah. Let me see what I can do about it. In case you're wondering why we have a classroom in our home, it is because we are homeschoolers. Yes, and I explained this to depth or at length in a video that I did just recently, which I'm going to link right here. So watch it if you want. If you're new here, welcome. We love visitors. And if you would like, kindly consider subscribing. And if you like this video, guys, remember to give us a thumbs up because it really helps to grow our channel. Thank you. So, I thought I was doing so well on time in this room. Turns out I wasn't. So, I went like two minutes uh, over the 10 minute mark. But it's looking nice. And on to the next one. Guess what time it is, guys. Now, I know what you're thinking. Like, how could I possibly imagine that I would be able to clean my worst room in the house in 10 minutes? Now here's the beauty of the, the beauty. The beauty of the fly lady system is that we are allowed to do what we can. Then when the timer goes off, we shut the door and move on with our lives like nothing happened. Okay? So I'm like, instead of just ignoring this room, like I'm ignoring many other things in this house, let me set a timer and do what I can do in 10 minutes. I'm telling you guys when 10 minutes are up, I'm out of here. The one thing that I must do is to mop the floor because people walk here, at least that part I know should not take a few, uh, that much time. But then, apart from that, I will maybe clear up this bed, remove the bedding because they need to be washed, wipe a few surfaces, and I don't know, man, let's see how it goes. Hey guys, after all this crazy cleaning, you want to see the feast I made for myself at the end of this video because I deserve it. I am working so hard. These calories must be replaced. So stay tuned for that. So that was ambitious even for me ended up doing about 15 minutes but again we have to give grace to this room because you guys hmm, 
it's looking moderately better about seven percent better let me show you so uh, that break time is over I just want to do the living room very quickly still under 10 minutes or just uh, at the 10 minute mark the good thing is I'm not mopping the floor here or in the entry because our help does that every day but I do need to clean my seats vacuum my carpet do a bit of dusting and also polish the mirror at the dining area and that's it i'm telling you guys i am aiming to finish the living room and the entryway in 10 minutes okay i'm kidding 10 minutes 10 minutes each <laughs> or maybe max 15 minutes for both rooms i don't know guys let's 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 do this let's see how it goes it's gonna be quick promise okay we have been living here we have been living our life our best life that's why it's a bit messy but not too much so let let me just get to it actually honestly i'm not expecting to spend more than uh 10 minutes here i find that most of the time when we think about cleaning we think about mopping the floor but it's so nice to be able to take a focused time to clean our living room Apart from the floor, because it forces me to look up. Then I see all these paintings that have just been accumulating dust. Then I'm able to just dust all these areas, dust the walls, dust all that that needs to be done without having to clean the floor. You know, do the vacuuming, clean those nooks and crannies of the sofas. The focus time is so, so helpful. So this part of the video is kindly sponsored by Tefal's new vacuum cleaner and as always thank you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. Now let me tell you about this vacuum cleaner because 
I'm a very happy and excited mama. For starters, it is cordless. Hello, freedom. So gone are the days that I, <laughs> I had to drag around a whole cord. And then it is so light. Can you see? I mean, I know I've been working out, but what? This is so light, you guys. And then the good thing about it, again, is that once you charge it, it's going to last you an entire 45 minutes of cleaning. Guys, I am on the clock here. I am a working mom. I'm trying to be efficient. I'm trying to save time and all that jazz. So the faster I can do this, the better without having to drag things and cause everywhere. So 45 minutes, you guys, it's so fantastic. I get to do so much. And let me tell you exactly how much I get to do with this vacuum cleaner. Yeah, this vacuum cleaner comes apart in so many fantastic ways. Let me show you. So first, there is this part. So this part is fantastic for cleaning your sofas because if you have toddlers like me and kiddos then you know how often you need to get into the nooks and crannies of your sofas and just removed all that accumulated junk in there also fantastic by the way for cleaning your cassettes y'all better stay tuned because i'm going to be doing that in another video because the state of our car you guys with this here our children sometimes it's just <clears throat> shall not be mentioned so anyway i love this I love it so much. I love it ever so much. Let me show you the next way in which it comes apart. So then it comes apart here. Yo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just had to do that, you guys. So this is so fantastic because it's helping me to reach all those areas that I cannot reach. As in you guys, let me show you. Let me just show you. Like if I want to vacuum over here, you see over here. And you know we live in a dusty place. You see? Ah! Yeah. I'm so just. <laughs> So another thing I love about this vacuum cleaner is that it flexes. Yeah, not like, let me show you how it flexes, you guys. So you come here, if you want to reach, you know, under those places and you want to save your back, you, you've carried too many children, your back can no longer work. Look at this. Woohoo. So, so I'm vacuuming under, okay? Let me show you. So, as in no more bending and breaking your back, trying to reach those out of reach areas. No more having to move heavy furniture around you guys. All right. And then it has a light right there at the bottom so that you can see the dirt, even the tiniest speck so that you're leaving your house speak and span. So, I know by now you really want to know where you can get this. They have a number of outlets in Nairobi and its environs. And I'm going to pin all those in a comment down below. And you guys, you are not prepared. No, your cleaning game is going to a whole new level. Thanks to this Tefal vacuum cleaner. So the yard shouldn't be a big deal. Unless I find more experiments from this, my children. Ha, you remember when they were trying to make paper? Yeah, so we always have those ones. But it shouldn't take me 10 minutes to just sweep this yard. It shouldn't. Guys, the grass let's let's just let's not talk about it i 
Dad, tell me what I'm looking at. What is this I'm looking at? Toys. Toys and a lot of trash. Why why is our yard looking like this, guys? What are we going to do about it? Clean up right now, okay? I don't want to see anything but grass and soil. Teamwork makes the dream work, guys, and I, I just love it when the kids also are willing and able and <laughs> and happy to help with the cleaning because they live here. They make most of the mess around here, by the way. So it's so nice that we start teaching them how to clean up after themselves. It's dinner time. My house is thick. And for dinner, a feast, as promised. Anyway, I just want to make some chapatis. It's been a minute since I made chapos on this channel. Can you believe I didn't know how to make chapatis before COVID happened? By the way, if you're new here, you might have missed that little uh, announcement. Before 2020, I used to make the worst kind of chapatis in the history of all manner of chapatis. Eh? But now... I've even made a video teaching people how to make chapatis. Just call me the pro. Call me the expert. Call me the who is who of chapatis. Because now I make the softest and juiciest and layered chapatis ever. If you're interested in like to know how to make uh, chapatis, um, you know, like a pro, like me, I'm going to link that video here. And yes, I'm just getting excited by the thought of cooking, you guys. What? The chicken we're having the meal with is from my previous batch cooking video. 
Yeah, so if again you are new here, we love to batch cook. So we cook once a month or once in two weeks or depending on, on how the spirit leads, you know. So we made this chicken uh, two weeks ago. Really, it's been in our freezer and it's coming out so well. I love the way when I heat it, it is not falling apart because I first roasted it in the oven before I stewed it. Love this hack. My little helpers also decided they want to make their own chapatis and who am I to say no? Can you say yum? Can you say delicious? Yes, this chapati is, oh my gosh, soft, dancy, juicy, layered, delicious with this chicken. I'm hungry just thinking about it. Ah, this meal came out so well. We deserved it. I deserved it. Although my camera also did some, my cameraman also did some work. <laughs> Thank you so much guys for hanging out. I hope you'll consider speed cleaning. Let me know down below. Watch another video on this channel. I really appreciate you guys and I will see you over there. Bye.